What's up guys? In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to leverage your proteins in EVMAX by using the slideshow layer. When I talk about slideshow, you can use it for different purposes and I'll explain. The first option is to allow yourself or your guests to present slides in a designated area. It can be a PDF with multiple pages, JPEGs, PNGs that you or your guests can switch between. The other option is a slideshow made of series of PNGs allowing you to add dynamic design to your show. So let's jump into my EVMAX account and I'll show you how to do it. So I'm in the studio adding a new pro scene. Um, let's create an empty one. Let's create a new layer and select slideshow. As you can see, I already have a slideshow that I created, but let's create a new one. Give it a name. Now, let, let's talk about some of the settings allowed while creating or editing a slideshow. Um, show original uh, image size. If you combine slides with different dimensions and want to show them uh, in their original size, which means some uh, will be larger than others, turn this on. If you want to fill the entire area of the slideshow with the with the maximum size it can be stretched to leave it off autoplay um, if you want the uh, slide to uh, the slides to to play one after another at a constant interval without needing to manually move between them turn this on by the way if you turn it on uh, you can set the time each slide will be shown and also uh, set it to loop or play until the last slide, uh, uh, leave it off for now. Um, access control. This section will be available uh, only if the uh, autoplay is off. It gives you an option to add guests, whether you invited them ahead of time or in real time after they joined as a spontaneous guests. Uh, after adding them here, they will be uh, they will have uh, the ability to control the slides. For example, if you have guest who needs to present, this is where you add them. Slide animation. Um, this affect the transition effect uh, between slides. You have many many options here, so play around and choose the the one you like the most um, animation speed uh, this affect the duration of the animation when uh, moving between slides now for the final step let's add our slides this is the best part uh, because you can combine PDF uh, and images and reorder them. Choose some images and PDFs and let's select them. Don't forget to, to hit the done button. Okay, great. Now that we've finished creating our slideshow, click the create button. This will save the slideshow add it to our scene and return you to the slideshow list. Now we'll have it available uh, also on, uh, for future use in other pro scenes. As the host, I can move between slides uh, and the same goes for the, uh, for the guest you, uh, you're giving permission to. Okay, so now, before we wrap up, 
I wanted to show you a quick example of a slideshow that I created ahead of time with a bunch of logos uh, and set it to autoplay. So get creative and you will be able, you know, to do amazing stuff with it. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and don't forget to hit the like button on this video and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials and updates about AVMAX. So, see you in the next one.